Welcome everybody, here's your strategy vault and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Our lords of Diffed and welcome back back in 916, sorry, not 1916. And yeah, we are happily back to Crusader Kings after our longer production pause so much in the last episode. Um, Limwatch is growing up as kind of an uh, or, yeah, introverted local ruler. He's having everything quite well under control so far, playing most of his time spending it with his cat uh, Mitten. Uh, as we saw last episode. At the same time, he is feuding with the Lords of Alt Clad up here in Albia from the Cumbrian um, heritage since they killed his aunt, or he killed his aunt in cold blooded murder. And that's why we are also about to um, go for a murder actually on Duke or Sid up here. Um, we shall see if this is going to be successful. Apart from this, Diffid is very much so far just. Seeing and observing what is happening and uh, yeah, enjoying its local rule, and uh, that's what we're gonna go to. And yeah, I don't want to talk too much. Let's go just in and uh, let's get going. We can. Uh, okay, this was. I think this is why we swayed him last time. We wanted to maybe enact an alliance, but this is too, way too far away. Probably at the moment we won't do this. Murder on route. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of Duke Austin's castle. Should anything go wrong, a detailed map of the local hills with all its hidden paths and caves would be an invaluable resource. Alright, we can pay a hunter from Austin to draw a map. We can explore the hills ourselves. Or abandon the idea. Um... We are like paranoid, that's why we definitely. I think this is kind of out of it because we don't want to yeah, pay anybody. Pickle and humble. I think I'll go actually for a 50 50. There's no clear indicator in between. Uh, either we go or ourselves and check it out. We are young and we sh it's quite far away, but it's something we could do potentially. Or um, if we abandon the idea. So it's like just one, two, three for exploring, four to six for abandoning the idea. So let's see. And we're rolling a two, so that's why we're going ourselves. So let's hope we won't get sick. And we successfully did it, so very nice. So uh, no costs and some bonus on the murder. So at least our secrecy should have increased a lot. Good to see. Maybe with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to kill him off. We'll see another Viking raiders here in the Irish Sea. And we've got a new Suffragan. Uh, uh, this was our old Suffragan bishop. He drank himself to death. Of course he did. And we've got a new one. We've got Caradoc of Diffid. Quite incompetent, melancholic and infirm. But he likes us and the church is paying its tax. I mean, at this small level, not that in insanely important, but nevertheless, also not bad to have, so let's be happy about it. And still, yeah, we've got still nine, nine, three years of higher construction costs, so yeah. Actually, it's kind of okay not to have so much money at the moment, or we, we will definitely invest it rather somewhere else anyways. Do we have still our friends actually here? No. Mittens! Once again, our cat stuff is still ongoing. <laughs> I sit gesturing at my council to do the same. The most powerful people in the realm are here. I open my mouth to go speak and... Meow! I look around for the culprit. Meow! Mittens hops up on the tong table, purring contentedly. He butts his head into my hand happily. Gurrit, meanwhile, purses his lips in disapproval. Perhaps we can have the animal removed, my lord. We have business of much more importance to discuss. Um, we love the mittens, that's true. We had a lot of stuff going on, we're quite obsessed with it. However, we don't know how professional we are. So there's, I think, when we are fickle and paranoid, so... Yeah, in this combination and humble, so it's also like, probably would follow some advice. That is, leads for me to a very big uncertainty, so this is why once again we're gonna roll the dice here. Here 50-50 decision and it's a two. So servant come fetch this cats. And Gurrens get some uh, opinion of me. Alright. 
probably talking about some plans how to get rid of our enemies up there, how to solve our food, feud, not food, and uh, yeah. I don't know our new spy master, even though he's quite incompetent. And yeah, sure, we could bring Heaven, but I don't know why this dame, we don't like her, you know, even if she's very talented. There's something I want to, um, if you kind of knew it's looking in the first time, I'm doing some kind of roleplay, you know, I'm trying to at least see what seems to be logical and realistic. And also, yeah, of course, in reality, you don't know all the stats of your, um, of your courtiers. That's why you trust your, uh, what you would know as a character. That's why I try to do. Maybe that's one what I know that would basically sh yeah, hide all the information or to some, some huge extent. So maybe at some point I'm going to think about bringing that one in. But yeah, as you saw, I was quite annoyed by the mod problems with the update. So maybe I'm going to just probably keep on going in this Let's Play with the current set and see how this goes. And yeah, our wife is pregnant after, uh, after all, uh, once again. So nice to see. So probably not, sh apparently we're not only busy with our cat. So also a wife, uh, yeah, we, it's not like we dislike her, you know. She's pregnant and hopefully delivering us a new wonderful uh, daughter would be also nice. I don't know, to be done with. We can see. Billable wife. I can barely contain my glee as I find Princess Gwen Gertlon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the nice name. Jörn Gertlon, Duke Osset's wife, waiting for me along with a small equipage. If I could get her to help me in my scheme. You sent word that you wanted to see me, my lord. Alright, your husband has been calling your brush psychopathant. Please tell me about your castle. Alright. Oh. We do like her. Vicious, honest, sellers. Generous counsels. Do they like each other? I would love to know if this. Probably not because of these murderous things. Um, she's Breton. Your husband has been calling you Brush Psychos Fund. Actually, I don't know what a Psycho Fund is. Need to look this up. That sounds like a wonderful insult. Um, now she would basically just lose an opinion. Or here, tell me about your castle. Get some progress. I don't know, we wanted to see, it's like kind of unlikely, you know, that she would come down to see me. Where would this meeting happening, actually? But let's say, let's... Would we try... Uh, yeah, we are... Uh, we have pickle, let's just do it once again. And survive, so please tell me about your castle, we're getting some progress. King Ruffin is gone. Why is he traveling to right now? Hard taking back here in a grand tournament in Brittany. Okay. So Ruffin seems to be actually there hasn't been like a war for a while. Seven years. At least he could stay in charge after the infighting that was going on. So quite a uh, quite stable situation in West right now. How to look, or let's have a look at Rufon. We haven't had it last episode. These colors calm, impatient. Not the greatest of all warriors, but kind of stable. Oh. And he's married to one of his own dynasty, alright. And we are sick. My mortal body. Lord or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. It re I was reminded of this as I woke casting in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Do no more than it was necessary. It's too late for caution. Leave me be. Um, caution. We are, we are paranoid, so I think this is an out of order. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, once again, 50-50, but actually I would like leave me be for a paranoid man when you're sick, when you're humble. So maybe I go one, two, four, five, six here. And a two, which leads me to uh, easy treatment. And it's easy, even worse, oh my god. 
Uh, Morian told me to lie down in my bed and then to offer her my hands. Firmly she rubbed and slapped my palms until they were red and then repeated the treatment on my soles. As a finishing touch, she pinched me gently up and down my limbs. This odd procedure did nothing to improve my state. In truth, I think I feel worse. <sighs> Go away, I want to rest. I feel like we hired her recently. We know her from our scholar area, so I think... We are humble, even though we are paranoid. I don't see a big reason. Oh, it's only available because we are paranoid, okay? But you always have these options. She has to die, I find this highly unlikely. Also to lock her up. I mean, it's the first time and it's like still nothing has been cut off my body or something like this. So... I think nothing indicates, despite my... Of course we have paranoia, but still... We are humble and... I will give this one a six, a chance of a six. This one, no. We're not gonna kill her for this right now, for mistreating one to five and a six. If this repeats and we have other problems, we'll definitely increase the chances for the others, but... Sorry, this is too early for like a, such a drastic measure. One to five, the first one, six, the second option. And we're going for a two. So go away, I want to rest. But we will we'll keep this in mind. We will keep this in mind. Swaying so successfully our Duke. He could make us actually... Uh, why is he not making us a, some, a courtier in this court? We're such a great... What we're great in actually? Oh, spy master. Or chancellor. Anyways. Dude, beset by threats. Please, Bledrick Mules. The insane grudge has got to stop. I am scared to go anywhere and I'm jump at the merest mention of our old clad. My kinsman is clearly shaken. I am torn between the risks posed to my family and the need to teach Duke Osset a lesson. Who is Bledrick again? So sal <laughs> What? <laughs> what happened to Bledrick? Wait a second. He's a... <laughs> Ashari uh, court cartographer. But not very talented in Tunisia somewhere. And he is also like a great grand cousin of mine, alright. No, no, he's a great uncle of mine. Uh, what's his history? I have no idea how she how he got over here. This is odd, so yeah, but it seems like I don't know how he would even come to talk to me. Alright, uh, uh, what can we do? You're right, it is time this was done with. My feud will end. I will know this doesn't make sense right now. We must finish what we started. We are paranoid. Oh, I mean, it sounds a little bit weird that we have contact and we've got the murder scheme just going on right now. However, that's, that's the only reason why... But we are thicker, so we would definitely change our mind. But I feel like because of our paranoia, we want to punish the other dude. We are thicker, so actually let's go 50-50. I don't he might have sent me a letter, but uh, we do we even know of his existence, especially he's in Tunisia and he's a Muslim now? Mm. Kind of don't I, of course this would be critical. Well well well. Uh once again 50-50 <laughs> before I think too much. And we've got a five. No, we must finish what we started. Yeah, that's what, like, let's, we have to go through with this murder. And we're going to a uh, stress, uh, re reaching a new stress level. A mental breakdown, wanton desires. Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams to forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? I must sequester myself to avoid temptation. We lose my friend down here, but we become reclusive. Eh, it kind of fits him because this is what I how I expected him so far anyway. Like kind of pictured him. The the old commandments will help me stay pure. Uh, I'll turn to Kara is an organized Jewish faith. 
No, this is absolutely absurd. This will... I... No, no. This we won't do. I mean, this is just so random. If there was any... Yeah. Look around. If there would have been insula or something, you know. But this is something that's... This is what you see sometimes in... Paracism. Is there any... Is this anywhere, like, actually present? Yeah. Anyways, you know, I'm not going for this, uh, which just makes no sense to me. Or will bite my lip and try to stay focused. Um, what is he all about? I mean, since I gave this quite already such a chance um, and found it kind of reasonable, I'd give this a 1 to 4 and a 5 6 to the last two uh, options. So let's see. Is you really going to be reclusive or was it a misinterpretation of myself? Uh, exciting question that I'm losing all my wood dice. Next attempt. And roll it. It is a six. Uh, no, he's not like that necessarily. He's okay with seeing people. He's, yeah, staying focused. Interesting. All right. And a garden can be assigned and probably you can also Educate him. Let's have a quick look at the fight. Um, okay, he's following the stewardship um, trade. This makes sense. He's quite good in here. Do we have a capable steward? Definitely not. Do we have somebody where that I trust? Or we may have paranoid, you know? That could be actually a great steward. Our Duke Kibble is... Kind of a intellectual, not a bad steward, not a bad man. He would make sense. This Duke Cattle over here. Also not so bad. You know, looking at Dukes or Kings is like in, in ways. is I think for me kind of a, a smart idea since, you know, um, there might be some good upbringing. Sending him down to Wessex. And King Alfred down here is of course a great one. Oh, they are all of them are kind of capable people here. Uh, Winston Alfredson, also intelligent. Okay, the royal family in Wessex is quite capable. But I don't know, this is too far away and I feel like Alfred or him, they won't rise praise my son. So, Actually, let's try Kettle over here. Kettle the fourth. Hello, Kettle, would you? Uh, not guardianship, of awards. Would you be so kind and educate my beloved son? Looks good, so let's do it. Oh! Oops, and this time I didn't check the consequence. Of course, we're paranoid sending my son and heir away. Uh, it causes a lot of stress, which oh, 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 took us over the critical limit. So, yeah. <laughs> Oops. It's been a couple of hard years for, or like, it's been a hard year for him so far. The map. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a party lady in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Um, I think you to bring the idiot belongs into my dungeon. We're paranoid. I kind of feel like we should do this. And we get another, oh, and we get another paranoia. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Uh, mental Oh, yeah. Oh, la, 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 la. This was a lot of stuff coming together. Mental break. The voices. Where my court is only lies and falsehood, I have found those who claim to be willing to tell me the truth. They live with me in my head. They say they know the truth is. Do they really know? Yes, only the voice does know the real truth. We can turn into a lunatic. Uh, <laughs> Alright. 
plagued by hallucinations, delusions, and disorganized thoughts, Leopold struggles to distinguish between what is real and what is not. I must exorcise these devils with a naked run. <laughs> What's a naked run? Probably like some kind of weird exorcism thing. I guess you run around naked. Um, yeah, we are kind of faithful. We are humble. We are fickle. We are paranoid. I find all both options quite entertaining and both are feasible or reasonable. So I'll go with a 50-50 chance to get Will Liverage Town turn into a lunatic? No, it's a four. So... I must exercise these devils with a naked run. The naked run it is. Uh, we're losing some pain. Are we distinguished? Uh, not anymore. Now we're just established, but at least not as stressed anymore. And we're getting a daughter, Grand Privy. Um Yes. There she is. And we have a very efficient taxation. That's nice to see. Uh, and my son Hithite arrived in Povis, where cattle will educate him nicely. It's also nice to see. It would be also nice to get rid of the disease actually at some point. Now my wife Nest is also ill. Knights and peasants. With the recent upset among the peasants of our club, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Duke Oisit. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the Duke is passing through the streets. Uh, from some good old-fashioned mob rule. Alright, this is far too predictable. Yeah, we could just wait to increase the chances. Normally it would be like, why? And actually, normally it's just not so typical. Since we are pickle and paranoid, I would consider it actually. So let's go one, two, four. No, nope, let's go once again. 50-50, we are a kind of, uh, yeah, <laughs> spontaneous character, I'd say. So 50-50, let's see what happens if we actually order the murder to happen. Or oh, we wait another three hours. It's a five. It's too unpredictable, apparently. We're gonna wait a bit more. All right. Rufon seems to be back. Good to see. And where we, who's, are we in war with? Are we being raided? Wait a second. My chief came up here the gate. Oh, they are raiding us. Uh, they're raiding Wales at least. Haven't seen their troops yet. In well, the Gloucestershire. What's going on? Oh, here's a Mercian conquest. Mercia versus. We've got Mercia. We've got some Valesians. Uh -huh. Versus. Worcestershire arriving in Cairn with fighting here twice. Essex, alright. So Mercer trying to, okay, some infighting again between the uh, Anglo Saxons. Of course, it's, you can't simply summarize them as Anglo Saxons. It's kind of a yeah, modern historian interpretation. Anglo Saxons are quite different, and also there's still like a lot of different uh, cultural differences, but nevertheless. By the way, I just see that the apparently this what we just saw before these uh, Vikings over here have been taken over by the West Frankians. Very interesting. Kind of impressive, strong empire by the way, with six thousand men and quite stable in the kind of France form, including Burgundy, while still the Alemans and Eastern Franks. What is this actually? Sea cutting? How did they cut that in power? Probably like a revolution or something like this. And here, Eastern Front here are uh, way more split. Well, we shall see if this if they can reunite. It's gonna be interesting to observe. Anyways, I'm back. Uh, I'm not ill anymore. Good to see. You. Good times. Nice. We can pet mittens in the meantime. I forgot to tell you about this. We have to do some stress. And uh, be I still swing uh, Duke Hivel. Do I like his clear rationality? I think this. Let's try it. He's calm. Maybe it fits him. Uh, he likes that indeed. Come on, guy. Give us a post in your court. Why not? You'd enjoy that. We're a great, great spy master, for example. 
I mean, it looks like the merchants got just beat up by the uh, Wessex and uh, Wessex, no, Wise and Essex troops. Does he want the alliance now? Not even now when he's under pressure. Okay. Did she then get this away? Hostage? No. And we have mittens again. Purring comfort. After yet another stressful day, I slumped down on a chair in my chamber. For how long will I be able to keep this up? Suddenly I hear a quiet meow, and my cat Mittens jumps up on my lap and starts purring. I sit with him for a while, just listening to the calming sound and petting his black fur. I think I can do this for a bit longer. <laughs> I don't know why it's everything about the cat Leverage seems really but a little bit a, a little bit too obsessed with his cat in my opinion, but okay. Accosted. My agents have learned that Duke Oyset is currently undertaking a journey to Alt Clut, which will take him through several patches of wilderness. All that is missing is his, the band of thugs that will tragically slay him in the highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine his blood seeping into the dark soil. Alright, oh, the wilderness can be such a dangerous place, of course. Oh, wait, this is not the right moment. And once again, like before, we're gonna do it the 50 50 way. Will we order the murder now or not? It is a one. And we will go for it. Oh, the wilderness pen can be such a dangerous place. 42% of killing him and 33% of being discovered. Let's see. Oh. Uh, it seems Duke Oyson has escaped God's judgment yet again. My high thugs failed to overpower his retinue. Worse still, a few of them were kept alive and revealed that they had been paid for the attack. It did not take long to trace the payment back to me. Damn these alt cloth scoundrels. Alright, you gain 12 threats. Um, he gets watchful. He absolutely hates me now. All of them hate me now. So the food even intensifies. Why are we wearing this? Oh, this was just for the murder, but we weren't even there. Well, well, well. At least uh, for our moral standard, we're not turning into a murderer, which is nice to see. <laughs> and we can host a tournament. Uh, not really interested. Well, well, well. <laughs> What's the next mission for him then? This was such a good motivation. Huh? Uh, we could travel up here to this, can we actually? Where's this one? Chief Thames of Finland? No. Can we still join? Uh, we would arrive in time. I was just thinking maybe I could have enjoyed this over here. This, this tournament, maybe we could have dueled or something over there. I don't know. Writing the right way. I've recently heard about how there are various techniques to help one write more quickly, such as using abbreviations or modified symbols to represent words. Perhaps taking the time to learn this might be helpful, perhaps it might not. While I'm still fascinated by this topic, maybe I can contact a local scholar or scribe who can teach me about these matters. Assuming I have time, of course. I have interest in, in learning shorthand. Uh, what? Learn short? Ah. Let's try this. Assuming I have time, of course. I do have time. And I can, let's have a look. Learn shorthand techniques. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we can get some... You know, some techniques, just why not? It's a kind of nice boost. Historical context. Shorten is any abbreviated method of writing quickly. These methods were historically developed across many literate cultures. They were, and still are, particularly useful for certain professions like clerks and scribes, where information needed to be recorded swiftly and efficiently. Yeah, I think I'll go for this. Why not? I want to check it out, and it's not really against my... Uh, yeah what I wanted to do, so this I think is a great idea. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, did I get it ready? Ah, just as everything, I thought there might be some kind of event around it. So we learned some shorthand techniques, that's good to know. And yeah, I think we've also reached a good point about where we can end this episode in June 19 918. Unfortunately, our nemesis is not gone. Uh, 
further way more he found out what we had in mind for him so we have an arch enemy at the same time our soul stays kind of clean we didn't turn into a murderer nor a lunatic even both times we were very close to that so um yeah let's see if Livage's uh, soul gonna stay this clean for the rest of his life or what the future has in mind for him i don't know let me know what you think how we should proceed and if or what you liked or not uh, let me know. Leave me a like and subscription if you haven't yet. It helps the channel a lot and costs you nothing. So thank you for that. And then see you next time. Bye. Your strategy wall.